A top Malawian court Monday ruled that South Africa based witnesses in the extradition case against controversial preacher Shepard Boshiri and his wife Mary should travel Malawi to give evidence. The High Court of Malawi overturned last year's ruling by the Longwes Chief Resident Magistrate Matalisto Chimwanza, who had granted permission for the possibility of the witness to give evidence virtually while in South Africa and before a South African court. However, in the latest turn of events, Judge Bruno MacDonald Kalemba ruled that witnesses to the extradition hearing who testify physically in the presence of the chief resident magistrate in Malawi on a date and time to be appointed by the court. Bushuri's lawyer Wapona Kita confirms the twist. Yeah, it's correct. You will recall that we had appealed against the decision of the magistrate uh, ordering that the witnesses should testify in South Africa. So today the High Court has overruled that decision by the Chief Resident Magistrate Court and has ordered that the witnesses from South Africa must come and testify physically in Malawi before the Magistrate Court. Well, what the judge has done is he, he has he, uh, referred the file back to the Magistrate Court and he, they will set a date and appropriate time when the, witness, the witnesses can come and testify. While the judge is saying that perhaps the reasons which uh, we are there at the time this case was commencing, like COVID. It was understood at that time that yes, maybe they could testify in South Africa. But now there are no exceptional reasons why they should testify in South Africa. So they must come and testify in Malawi. When is the matter continuing again? We are, I would know, we are, we are on the receiving end. So it's them who must make the most of uh, getting a date for the matter. Bushir, who fled to his home country in 2020, has previously claimed unfair treatment in South Africa. The charismatic and lighted Christian gathering, ECG Church founder, said he survived assassination attempts in South Africa. Nozolo Hadebe, AVG News, Johannesburg.